Live, uh, our friend Alyssa Harrington is now at the elementary school in Denair. She just arrived. Of course, uh, Cody Alicia coming in this morning with a whole bunch of motorcyclists in tow. Uh, what's the scene there at the school? Well, yeah, I'm here at Denair Middle School, and everybody is circled here around the American flag at the front of the school where they are about to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. Now, the ride here was really amazing. On the way down, there were people on street corners waving their American flags as Cody and, of course, that uh, all those motorcycles who were trailing him went by. People were cheering, people were clapping, and uh, Cody, when he got here, he had tears in his eyes. He's there in the middle of the circle addressing everybody. Uh, he was honored with a flag and a certificate, and, you know, it's, it's not a normal school day for Cody, that's for sure. There's a lot of support here. You can see some other students are now moving to the center of the circle, all to show their support for Cody. We'll try and get in a little bit closer there. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's what's happening here. Just a lot of support. People with their flags. Cody uh, getting a, a lot of attention. And as you all remember, he was asked to take his American flag off the back of his bicycle last Monday. Uh, he comes from a military family. He felt like uh, that was just wrong and like he should be free to fly the flag wherever he wants to. When this story came out, it definitely struck a chord with people all across the world. I mean, we've been hearing from people all over the nation, from troops over in Afghanistan, and Cody's been hearing from these people as well. He's very touched, and he said that, you know, he never did this to get this type of attention. He said that he just wanted to, you know, express uh, his, his freedoms, and, uh, and look what's become of it. I mean, you can just see the response out here at Denair Middle School this morning. Guys. He's been so composed through all this to see him tear up there. That's, I know, uh, he was wiping away some sweet. tears. And it's great that everybody is so calm. You know, they're not creating a ruckus, anything like that. Let's see what, let's see what they're saying. Right, and, and if you guys want, we're, we're going to listen in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Great day to be an American. It is a great day to be an American. These are the words of Congressman George Radonovich this morning. What does America come to when a 13-year-old student must be concerned for his safety when he waves the American flag? This past week, Denaire Middle School, located in my home district, asked one of their students, Cody, how do I say your last name? Alicia, to remove an American flag he had been proudly displaying on the back of his bicycle for two months. Cody and his family were told that the flag needed to be removed for his own safety in light of problems that arose during the previous school year when students carrying the Mexican flag to school on Cinco de Mayo. Thankfully, on November 12th, the school district reversed the decision and has informed Cody that he can once again display his flag. I am pleased that the Denaire Unified School District has made the correct decision and is once again allowing Cody to display his flag. However, I am deeply concerned about the circumstances that led to Cody being asked to remove his flag in the first place and want to make every member of the House aware of it. I raise this, this issue on the floor of the House because I believe what happened to Cody gives us a snapshot of our current national culture. The flag of the United States of America is a symbol of everything that this country stands for. Amen. Unity, Amen. prosperity, Amen. and freedom. Yeah. Every morning in classrooms across America, students of all ages and nationalities pledge their allegiance to the flag and to this country. For an American student to ever be told that displaying the American flag in America may make him a target for violence is a travesty and a terrible testament to what is happening in our country. I am proud of Cody for choosing to display his patriotism, his respect for the men and women who have fought and died for this country, and his love of this country. I am proud to represent this community which has displayed such overwhelmingly positive support for Cody. I especially want to think, thank the Patriot Guard Riders, the American, Fall, American Legion Fallen Riders for escorting Cody here today and everyone else who has chosen to walk and ride here this morning and to display their pride in the American flag and the ideals it represents. I hope many more people will be inspired by Cody's example and will choose to fly the flag more often. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah.
Uh, hey, Alyssa, we, um, we were hearing there may be a couple hundred motorcyclists accompanying him. I, I know you didn't count them all, but is that a number you can believe, having been there and seen it? You know, I'd say maybe a hundred, but it wasn't quite as many as I think we originally expected. I think okay. people were saying about 500, but yeah, I would say probably close to a hundred. A hundred Harleys make our elder. Here's the oh, place. here they go. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There's a moment all those kids will not forget either. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm pretty you sure earlier we saw in the background, by the way, um, oh, I can't talk. Let's listen. <laughs> Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs were Choked wow. up when you see little Cody getting choked up. Yeah, we saw his granddad there holding the flag partway through. Um, yeah, wow, you guys, that's all I can say about yeah. this. If you want to hear from Cody, we're going to try and get his reaction real quick. Cody, how are you feeling? Thank you so much. Hmm. Right, Speechless. You uh, no more intolerance. Let's just be um, kind. Earlier in the uh, we want to be treated. Earlier in the background, we saw State Senator Jeff Denham. I'm pretty sure that's who it was. He's congressman-elect now, just got elected to go to Washington, D.C. Uh, Denham has offered to fly Cody back to Washington, D.C. to be there wow. for his swearing-in ceremony. We saw him, uh, was one of the many gathered there at uh, Denair Middle School this huh. morning. Isn't that something? That certainly How nice is. nice to have been there for that. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, Cody's granddad. It's amazing back. the way this whole story just kind of played out. <sighs> All right. 743 at Fox 40 Live. What a uh, nice moment there. This